Welcome back to another video of this where I talk and you maybe listen. Uh, in this video, we are going to be we're going to be doing a little bit more of a deeper dive into the world of Facebook ads and how to set them up and then why to set certain things up. Uh, I made a video uh, briefly going over Facebook ads, sort of like the best practices back in like mid March ish. Uh, and then I went to Florida for all of April and completely forgot about the fact that I said I would do a follow up if uh, the original video got a decent amount of engagement and it did. You guys are interested. That makes sense. So in this uh, episode video, we are going to do a little bit more in depth. I'm going to share my screen. We're going to walk through how to essentially set up an ad. And then again, why we would be doing some of those things. So without further ado, let me share my screen. Okay, first things first, this is the page. Well, not this page you're going to need to go on your business page. Obviously, this is just a random uh, business page that I have set up. Um, and one of the things that you are going to want to do is over here in the left hand side, make sure you're in, in the ad center. And then if you have run ads before, obviously, your previous campaigns will be here. But if you are like the majority of people, you your page will look like this. So what you're going to do is kind of click create ad. And this is new. Um, I haven't seen anything about getting started with automated ads as opposed to just creating a new ad from scratch. But I did both of these and I like the automated ads better. Basically, it just sort of lets Facebook choose more of the things, which is smart because Facebook knows more about ads than we do. Let's just say that. So what you're going to want to do, obviously click this one. It's going to ask you some questions. Basically, let's create your personalized plan, which is great because again, Facebook knows way more about ads than we do. So uh, they're going to ask you some questions. I already went through this, so my answers are already chosen. Do you want people to come into your business location? Not really. You know, you're not like a shoe store like this one is might maybe suggesting, but if you do, then click yes. Uh, do you have a website? Yeah, you better have a website. That's all I'm going to say on that. Uh, do you people buy products on your website? No, not not necessarily. Um, do people book appointments on your website? I said no, because I don't think people book appointments on your guys's websites. But you guys would know that answer better than me. Do you get leads through your website? Yeah, feels like feels like a yeah. Uh, do you want people to contact you? Uh, unless you're a bad real estate agent, I think the answer is yes on this one. Uh, and then how do you want people to contact you? I, I just said most of them. Uh, if you use WhatsApp, sure, put that one on there too. Be my guest. Um, but and if you don't want people to message you on Facebook, don't click this one. Not that hard. And then where's your audience located? That is going to depend on where you are and or where you want to do business. This doesn't necessarily have to be the location of your office. It can be the location of your farm. It can be the location of where you primarily do the business. Um, but for this example, I am just going to put in my home zip code and then interests. So this is where this is where things can get a little bit interesting, tricky because of you know the lovely um, not laws, you know, the fair fair housing. There we go. Um, so because of that, we have to be a little bit trickier with the interests. So one of the ones that I'm going, I have a bunch actually, but um, Zillow, love it or hate it. Uh, this interest basically means that if the person on Facebook has liked Zillow or interacts with Zillow, whatever, um, they're going to likely be shown your ad. Um, another thing you can do is also Trulia. Um, another thing you can do is actually, because I found an article basically, and yeah, because of the fair housing regulations, let me read what they wrote. Because of the fair housing regulations, Facebook only lets agents target by interest, uh, but you can still pick interests that might indicate someone is likely to make a move soon. You just need to be more creative. So a few interests that you might want to consider targeting would be the following. Zillow, Trulia, 
Real estate investing, meh. First time buyer, not a bad one. For sale by owner, holiday cottage, home equity loan, refinancing house, house hunting, housing.com, land and houses, luxury real estate, if that's your market. First time home buyer agent, mortgage loans, property finder. So to my knowledge, those aren't breaking any fair housing regulations, but um, if you want to hear those again, just simply rewind the video. Okay, I just threw a few of them in there, the ones that I said, because I, it's going to make a difference in like 30 seconds once, I, once we have an ad. Um, I'll tell you a little bit why that matters in a second. Um, so these, it's gonna, so after you answer those questions, it's going to basically ask you to create your ad versions. Now, basically, this is just going to be your image. This is going to be what, or your video, whatever. Um, we're not really gonna talk about that in here. Um, again, if this video, if you guys like it, and you're like, please just keep hammering us with Facebook ads videos, I, I'll gladly make more of them. Um, but this is where you can add versions one up to six, and it's uh, basically going to hopefully do everything for you. So now this is sort of like the final ish page, so to speak. Um, and up here, this is where you're going to choose your goal. Now it automatically says get more messages on messenger. <sighs> I don't know. That's probably not. No, we don't want that. We want more leads. We want actual leads. We want, we want leads, people. Um, but you, have, you also have the opportunity to click get more traffic. You can also promote your contact info locally. However, leads, probably, you know, it's, it's what we're going for here. And, and as you can see right here, this is where you can customize the contact form. So like if they are to essentially give you a lead, they're gonna to have to fill out some information. You can sort of pick and choose what information you want. Um, it's gonna ask you for a form name. It's not gonna be shown to them. So I'm just gonna say test on this one. Um, I don't believe that the phone number is automatically clicked. I believe that I ended up clicking that one uh, if you want to see what it's going to look like, you will go up there and click see preview. And this is what it's going to initially look like. It's going to ask them their name, their email, as well as their phone number. If you want to get their phone number, uh, it might be safer just to get the email. I feel like me personally, if somebody's asking for my phone number, I already get enough spam uh, phone calls as it is. So I might be uh, a little bit hesitant to do that. And then look short answer question again you can ask them anything because you can write your own question so uh, the question could be you know are you looking to buy or sell pretty straightforward you can ask them anything doesn't matter well you can't eat you know um, so once you've done with that then here are your two ad versions now what you're going to want to do is you see this this little pencil thing button edit is what that means obviously and you're going to want to click that and that's going to pop up what the ad is going to look like where you will then have to customize uh, the headline as well as the description as well as the button so as far as headline is concerned um, we're just going to put let me buy your house because why not uh, and then description obviously write whatever it is if it is a you know hey let me buy or sell your house or if it's a hey, this listing just went up for sale, you would post you know, the description of the listing. Uh, and then more importantly, the action, the, the call to action, the button, uh, you would want to change that. Uh, and I don't, oh yeah, learn more is probably gonna be the one that we're gonna choose the most because none of those five were great. Okay, I just threw in some filler text here from the article that I was reading from, so this obviously means nothing, but this is what the preview looks like. Uh, and this is just a preview for one certain ad type. So if you go up here and click see all previews, you are going to see all the different ways that Facebook runs ads, which is why you want Facebook to choose 
what type of ad because Facebook knows their audience better than you know the audience you know they know what type of ads work best so let let's just them let them do the heavy lifting so this is what it looks like here this is what it looks like in the mobile news feed the instant articles um, well, clearly it's not supported in in stream video because it's not a video that's why if your ad was a video I'm guessing this one would work um, suggested videos, desktop marketplace. So you can just sort of get a brief overview of how it looks everywhere. Um, if I had to guess, it would also be able to go on Instagram because this uh, media that I chose was just a square. It actually didn't even choose anything. It was just the little logo that Facebook pr provides for the business profile image. Um, it's not gonna be wide enough, but if I was to choose an actual photo, it would be able to work on Instagram as well as Instagram stories. So that is how that works. That's how you're going to want to go and customize your ads. So I'm going to click save changes. Um, and up here in the estimated daily results, if you have never run an ad before, this is the estimated people reached. Um, and then this is also the estimated leads. Granted, these are very much estimated numbers and by no means a guarantee. Um, because this is with a daily budget of $5. So if you scroll down a little bit farther, you can see that you have the option to uh, adjust the daily budget. So what we're gonna do is we're going to adjust that to $10. And now our estimated reach is 246 to 712 people on $10 a day. And if I had to guess, that's gonna give us about like, what, four to, oh yeah, four to 21 leads. Again, very rough estimates. Uh, please take that with a grain of salt. Um, and then smart audience, you're going to want to keep that on uh, placements. I don't really know if Messenger needs to be in there. I'm going to take Messenger off. And even if you want Instagram off, regardless of if you have an Instagram account or not, it's not bad. Um, but if, again, if you only want people on Facebook, that is fine too. Save placements go up and check it again. And we're still projected to get the same amount of uh, people reached as well as leads. And that's about it for this video. I hope you guys found something in this video helpful. If you want me to again, do more deep dives uh, is to like, okay, now that we know how to set up an ad, get into like the more specifics of like different types of ads and why you should run those ads, let me know. Let me know down in the comments, like the video, do whatever you need to do, shout it from the rooftop, uh, and I'll gladly make more videos on these because this is it's kind of fun. So as always, I will see you guys next video.